Okay, my number 10 is Jesse McCartney because he's a really good singer for one. He's like really good and he, and he used to be like very cute and everything. Well, no, not used to be very cute. He is very cute and he's very hot. He's hot. Plus, I think he's a genius because, okay, he was able to go from beautiful soul to like body language. I mean, you can't go from cute to hot unless you're Jesse McCartney, right? Okay, number nine is Kato Shigeaki from New. He's, okay, there's only one word to describe this man. He's a super good actor. Kato is really sexy and he's also a really good actor. I didn't expect that, really, actually. So when you first see him, you don't expect him to be a good actor, but he is. And he and um, Koyama are so cute together. He's Number eight, 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 eight. Number eight is um, Darren Chris. So he's absolutely the most creative guy on my list. I mean, he can sing, he can act, he can move, and he's a songwriter. I mean, I fell in love with him when I saw Harry Potter musical. And it just, it just went up when I saw Wiggle. So it's like, and also, he seems like a really chill person. He doesn't seem so... Hollywood, even though he kind of is, but he's not at the same time. Number seven. seven. Um, and number seven is Matsumo Fuku. So he, um, the reason why I chose them is because one, he's super sexy. Just like Chaco, only sexy. Actually, no, he's because he's got this beautiful face. He's got one of those faces that you can carve out perfectly. You can make it perfectly on a week. He's one of those faces you can make it perfectly on a week. And another thing is out of all the Yashi members, he's the only one I think would cherish his girlfriend and treat her like a princess. Plus he can cook and clean and I can't cook and clean. My number six. My number six is, is um, Ryan Hita from YouTube. The reason why he's my number six is because, um, hello, he's from Hawaii. How are you, but whatever. He's from here. That makes a difference. If you can make it here, then that's pretty damn important. Yes, it is. Another reason is because I think he's really a genius, like a really inner genius. If you see some of his videos, they seem kind of out there, but that's pretty genius work. I don't think I could have came up with anything like that. And also, he's full Japanese. So just truly. My number five is Masuda Takahisa. Unlike any Japanese I've ever seen in my entire life, or like my entire life, he has like this American sounding voice, American sounding quality. It's like, are you really Japanese, Masuda? Really? Mm -hmm. And also, and also, he loves Yoza. Yoza. So it's Ivan Lasaki. When I told, when I tell my mom who my list is, my mom always tells me to bump up Iba because she says we're so alike. Because she says we're kind of and kind of baka in a way in the head. And she kind of says we're kind of. <laughs> We kind of were kind of slow, and we would get along really well, which I can't disagree. After like, I agree with a lot of Iba's humor, so it's really interesting. Plus, he really loves animals. But yeah, he's really good with um animals, which means he's probably really compassionate, which I really love. Number three, number three. There's a tree in the tree. <laughs> Number three. You're saying I was lame. I'm just saying. Okay, number three is Philip Wang from Wang Chi. He's cute. Like, like there was. Everyone says, "Oh, West is so cute." Philip is damn cute. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, out of all of the Wang Chi members. He seems the most real. Like, <laughs> like not saying that he's a cute or anything, but, like, honestly, he, he feels so approachable. I feel like I could go up to him and give him a high five. That is really true. That is true. And, you know, that makes me feel good inside because I get really intimidated around celebrities. And he's one of those people that if I ever saw him in person, I probably would give him a hug and not be ashamed. Number two is Kevin Wu. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm kind of depressed because I didn't realize it was Leah's number two until recently, and she stole my story. I love the smile because when, when I saw him at White Gate, I'm stealing your story. It's fine. It's, it's my story. It's fine. We were both there. At White he smiled at me, and that smile came through my heart, into my chest, and I went... <sighs> Um, also, he's funny. He's really actually funny. Like, yeah, I forgot to say that. He's, yeah, like, I guess he has this humor that's kind of a genius. Cause it's kind of like you don't expect him to be funny, but he's really funny. He's not afraid to make fun of himself. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. And um, also, during the Wingman video, <laughs> after when he says, that's my Bruce Lee impression, his face is exactly that face that makes you fall in love with God. That face will blow. If you guys watch that video, I know it's That's my Bruce Lee impression. <laughs> Number one is... Honestly, you're welcome. Number one, Ono Satoshi. He's an amazing singer. He's, I think, the best singer in Japan by far in my mind because I love him. And he's the best dancer. And he, he's so cute. He's also a really good actor. I mean, a guy who can play a monster, a devil, and um, one of those singing people like on Sesame Street. I mean, come on. It's amazing how he did it. And he's really cute. And he's also like, I think he's a genius also, but he's more like an inner genius. Because he doesn't talk at all. But when he says stuff, he's either super funny or super smart. And it's like, how can you do that? How can you be that good at your job? He's just amazing. Number one, and I love him. And I think we have a lot of fun because I, I want to learn how to fish. 